Hey, welcome to Ed L522 Web Design for Instruction. Um, this is the Master's in Curriculum and Instruction at CSU Fullerton. My name is Dr. Edward Gonzalez, but honestly, from here on out, just uh, call me Eddie, whether it's in Zooms, emails, or if you happen to see me at a conference or at any local function, um, most likely on Zoom, right? Because we're still in the pandemic. But, uh, but yeah, Eddie and we're good. So in this video, I'm just gonna be explaining to you uh, just what the course is gonna be about, kind of a general overview with the main assignments, a little bit about myself, and then giving you um, some tips and tricks for navigating through Canvas to make sure that you're successful. Uh, so the first major assignment is gonna be the website evaluation. And in this assignment, what you're gonna be learning is how to teach students, but also teachers, how to, um, how to incorporate this type of digital literacy into um, into their actual instruction the next major assignment is going to be the group research report consider this to be kind of like a crowdsourced wiki where you're going to be creating a report that's going to be public facing that you can actually share with uh, other members of the community uh, next is going to be the MOOC evaluation a MOOC is a massive open online course these are courses that are typically uh, given through uh, through universities across the world and you're going to be actually asked to join a MOOC and then participate in the learning and then be able to come back and share that learning with us and uh, and we'll tie it to just kind of the broader learning experience in general the next big one is the digital literacy website so as we were talking about the website evaluation assignment at the beginning here is where you'll be actually uh, applying it in a, in a way where you can share this out uh, as well um, let's see uh, the next big piece is the class discussions, and the class discussions are actually my personal favorite. This is where we're actually going to do all of our discussions on Flipgrid. I like doing them on Flipgrid because it gives us an opportunity to be uh, more personal, and uh, and also it, it kind of um, uh, how how we share, or it gives us a little bit more freedom to share because we get to know each other through uh, our gestures, through our mannerisms, and uh, and then also the the I think the authenticity of our experiences so for me personally the class discussions are always the most important part of the course because this is where we actually get to tie it to our own experiences so if you're teaching high school and uh, you know you're hearing a, a rock star teacher talk about how this impacts them in the kindergarten level or the third grade fourth fifth grade level it helps us tie all of this together and see the broader and bigger picture so um, this ties into the the next point which is our lens as we go through the course and also our lens through the department is always to be looking at things through a just equitable and inclusive education and this is a really important initiative and, um, and really something that we hold dear here and uh, I'm, I'll read to you what that means but it means it's that we're gonna have a commitment to meet the educational needs of all students in a fair caring and respectful and non discriminatory manner this includes recognizing and understanding the impact of one's own privilege, bias, uh, perspectives, and beliefs on the interactions one has with students. I personally um, think that this is going to be important as we go through it. And um, if I, as I share a little bit about myself, I think you'll see kind of the lens that I'm coming from. And uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, this comes through at the course. But ultimately, the the little learning community that we that we create here together. So I've taught third grade, six through 12, and then uh, also worked uh, currently as an instructional specialist. I've always worked at uh, what, uh, what would be considered high needs uh, schools and uh, typically like in an intervention setting. And uh, it's always been my goal um, to, uh, to, to really to serve and also to show um, in an appreciative manner the, the, the great things that, that all kids are capable of. And what exactly does that mean? So <laughs> for me, I personally believe in uh, in the power of children. So when uh, when I taught seventh and eighth grade, um, I would take I would train kids up to actually deliver like my own professional development. Um, and so in the top one you see there, there's kids from uh, from my math program actually delivering a session at the at the current Q conference. So it was literally like a. Uh, um, you know, I get to stand back and then the kids do all the work for me. So <laughs> I guess that makes me clever. No, <laughs> the, it, but it's because I believe that, you know, a room of 20, 30 um, motivated, empowered children are more powerful than any adult. And, and that's that's what I believe in. And that's what I, I've seen happen in the bottom. Uh, that's another large group of kids running professional development at a school site, teaching uh, teachers how to implement project-based learning through differentiated instruction. 
Um, and then this is kind of the same type of situation with sixth graders, except this is now at, uh, at Cal State Bakersfield where the kids are actually running the courses. And um, uh, yeah, I believe in the kids. I believe in the power of what they can do. And um, I'm really hoping that, you know, my lens comes through in the course and the way that I deliver it. But uh, ultimately, I'm hoping to learn uh, from you all as well. If you have any questions about my own personal work, by all means, feel free to reach out and, uh, and ask. Now, when you get into Canvas, the uh, it's going to be pretty standard, but this is going to be your homepage. The video I'm working on right now is going to go here. I'll tell you uh, in the video too where you, or I'll mark where you can just jump directly to the directions on Canvas if, if, you, if you need that support. But um, let's see, you click here, you'll get the syllabus. I'm going to be posting all the announcements. I typically post my videos on uh, my weekly announcements for the, for the week. I'll post those on Saturday morning, so you'll see those here, and it'll come out to you in an email. These are going to be the modules. I'll go into it now, the discussions, assignments, grades, and then you could also navigate through everything here as well. Uh, let's see. So the big one is going to be the modules. General questions, cool stuff to share. If you got anything great to share, go ahead and post it here. Let me know. I would love to uh, give you uh, a microphone to, to be able to sound off on, on the great works that you do. Um, uh, the intro that I have here, it's going to be here as well. Also, my contact information. You're also going to get my phone number. I say um, kind of use that as use that. I wouldn't say sparingly, but you know, reach out to me on email first. I tip, I'll get back to you within the, uh, within the day. But if it's something that's kind of an emergency, feel free to to text me and uh, and call me if you need to. Everything's broken up as modules. If you don't see the module, you can use this kind of little. Uh, uh, upside down triangle or sideways triangle to be able to to condense it or to expand it and uh, yeah everything is dated there and you'll be able to go right through it so if you have any questions definitely reach out um, and I'm excited to learn alongside you all and uh, really uh, see what we can do this semester so reach out